those early mornings don't talk to me kamba lina mimi because uhur mimi no i cannot so i usually go Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Chimams and I am back with yet another exciting video. If you're new here, kindly subscribe, hit that bell button so to get notified whenever I post a new video. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Chimams is the real vibe and that is on period power. As you guys have seen from the title, today we are going to be doing a Ramadan bingo that is uh, basically a never have I ever but a Ramadan edition. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I have some questions which I'll be uh, checking on my phone and then I'll be answering if I've done them or not. Maybe give an explanation, maybe give y'all some tea, you know, you know the vibe. So let's get straight into the video. Can you take a minute? to appreciate this face bit. Can we take a minute to appreciate this face bit? I mean, so I'm just from creating content. That's why I decided to pop up on YouTube and do a video. So, you know, I'm cute. I am cute. Have you ever slept during Suhoor? Oh my god, so for those who don't know, Suhoor is the pre-dawn meal, the meal we take at 4 or at 3, that is the meal we take during later night in the period of Ramadan. hope I'm making sense. So yeah, I've slept through Suhoor a lot of times, you know, back in the days when I did not set the alarm or something, but I have slept through Suhoor, but these days I just set my alarm and everything is okay. So, yep, I have slept through Suhoor. Comment down below if you've ever slept through Suhoor. Have you ever got woken up for Suhoor but you can't fast? <laughs> yeah, so we can't fast when we are on our periods. So, yeah, yeah, I have gotten woken up back in the days, not right now. Right now, if I cannot fast, don't wake me up for Suhoor. Please, don't wake me up for Suhoor. So, yeah, back in the days, I used to wake up and I used to eat. If I'm hung if I'm hungry, I will eat and tomorrow I will not fast. Yeah, so that's the tea. So I, yeah, this has happened uh, several, on several occasions, but not these days. Have you ever argued because you were hungry? Yeah, I have. A hungry man is an angry man. So yeah, I have argued. But not often, just once in a while, you know. Come up to your Ksemesha and you don't want women eh? and no so you you get angry at times. So yeah, I have argued. So back in the days, you know, when we were young, we used to uh, sneak in and uh, drink some water, you know, then continue your fast like everything is absolutely normal. So uh, let me just give you a backstory. Back then, I used to go in the toilet. I know that sounds gross, but I used to go to the toilet and drink water, like drink a jug full of water. And then I just get out, wipe my mouth and pretend that I'm fasting. But it was when I was young and uh, astaghfirullah, may God forgive me. But yeah, comment down below if you've done that. And uh, were you ever caught because I was I was caught one day I sneaked into I was at my grandma's place I sneaked into a room and I was looking for a jug of water to drink and then I just had <clears throat> where there was someone sitting in the corner yo the embarrassment the embarrassment but I think uh, since that day I've never done that because it was uh, it was a huge embarrassment and the person who caught me told on me, so everyone knew. That was such an embarrassment, so, yeah. Have you ever checked if that time over and over again? I'm sorry to say, but I still do that these days. I still uh, check, only because we are cooking, you know, so you have to check if everything is in place, but I usually check uh, if that time over and over again. Uh, have you ever eaten a huge meal for Suhoor? 
I love eating like huge meals for suhoor so that it can sustain me through the, the day. I can't eat at least me oatmeal, tende, maji. For suhoor, mimi. No, I cannot. So I usually go for kama rice, uh, chapati, that kind of stuff. Not tende and maji for suhoor. That's not me. That's not me. Comment down below if you you are you are a person who eats light for suhoor or who eats a heavy meal for suhoor. Have you ever eaten too much that you couldn't move? Yeah, all the time, all the time. Like uh, you've been waiting for iftar all day long, so you eat and eat and eat and. Uh, you can't move, you just can't get up and go do other things, you know. So yeah, I've eaten too much, of course. Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Comment down below if you've never eaten too much for iftar. Uh, have you ever hid and ate while on your period? Yeah, I used to do that also. I used to just go in my room and hide myself and eat whenever I'm, I'm on my period. But these days, I just go in the kitchen, get some water, drink. I mean, it's normal, you know, it's normal. And uh, yeah, I just don't hide anymore. I think I'm not ashamed anymore because back in the days, you know, there was all these stereotypes and all that. But no, we don't hide anymore. We eat. And... Yeah, I don't hide. I just don't hide. Have you ever gotten your period a few moments before iftar? Oh my god, this sucks. Yo, this sucks. Like you fasted for the whole day and just a few minutes before iftar, let's say five minutes, ten minutes, you get your period. I beg, couldn't you just wait for those five minutes? So yeah, this has happened to me and it sucks, but it is what it is. It's nature, you can't control it, so, yeah. Have you ever stayed up until Suhoor? Yeah, I have, so uh, once in a while, I usually just pray and pray and pray until Suhoor time, and then I eat, I wait for fudge, and then after praying, and then I go to sleep, but it is not that easy, and I just do it once in a while to say me like, um, twice a week yeah something like that so yeah i have stayed up until so have you ever woken up minutes before suhoor ends yeah so back in high school you know in high school in boarding school you didn't have an alarm or anything of that sort and you just you know guess the time that you have to wake up for suhoor because i was in a catholic school so you just have to give it a guess so you wake up and when you check the time, it's maybe like five minutes before Suhoor ends and you're there just, you know, just eating and eating and eating and packing everything that you can in, um, in, in those five minutes, you know. So yeah, I have, back in high school, that was the routine, like, you, ju you just eat what you can and leave the rest for God knows what time, so yeah. And uh, most of the time, I just drink water because when you just check the time, yo, you don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk it. So, yeah, I have uh, woken up minutes before Suhoor, but mostly back when I was in high school. Have you ever slept till iftar? Yeah, I have back in the days, back when I was young, you know. So I, I just sleep and when I wake up, the adhan is ready, food is ready, you know, the vibes. Yeah, so I have slept till iftar. Have you ever waited for iftar at the dinner table even though you weren't, fa you weren't fasting? Yeah. I still do that. Mimi ndo kwanza katika meza once everything is served and all that. Even when I'm not fasting, I mean, why not? So yeah, I have waited for iftar even though I'm not fasting. Are you usually moody during suhoor? Oh my god. All the time. I don't even want to talk to anyone. Hiyo nguvu ya kuongea watu wapi? Like yo Mimi ukinipata dawn or fajr or suhur time or those early mornings, don't talk to me. Come na mimi because I'm usually so moody. I mean, just from waking up. 
where do you get that energy to start talking and yapping yapping no so i'm usually moody 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 during suhoor have you ever avoided the kitchen during ramadan yes yes because uh sometimes some imekushika like you literally cannot get up you are so weak so i tend to avoid the kitchen at times not every time so yeah i have avoided the kitchen most of the times you can't blame me no? so guys that was it for this video comment down below if you've done the things that i've uh, read and yeah keep on liking keep on sharing keep on subscribing tell a friend to tell a friend that she moms is the real vibe and that is on period but thank you so much for watching guys bye i'll catch you guys in the next video